So let's quickly jump into the first Android app, which is supported with Shizuku. The name is Smart Spacer, and what this is basically you can customize the at a glance widget, and most of the devices have this. For example, if you're a custom room user, you have Pixel custom room installed, or basically a room which is having Pixel launcher pre-installed. Even if it does not have, it supports at a glance. Then you are good to go. You have a lot of options to customize that. For example, with the help of this app, you can add custom green. Greeting. You can also add some up or other options like music, notifications, a lot more things. You just have to add them, and here it is. As you can see, you can swipe for the extra weather information, add a lot more things. I am not able to show you all the things which you can do because this could be a very lengthy process. But uh, we have the link in the description. Set it up very easy. Just follow the on-screen instructions, and you are good to go. We also have some pre-installed plugins, not exactly pre-installed, but already included, so you can set them up. Moving into the second one is the carrier vanity name. The name suggests you can change your carrier vanity name. For example, in my case, I'm using Geo True 5G, of course. And if I change it to Hello TK, click on Set, it's done. So now your device carrier name is changed to that. Right now, if you move into the Quick Settings panel, as you can see, it's not changed. Why? So because it will take some time to update. Although, if you see this, because we just updated it already, if you move into the settings app and see network and internet, as you can see, my SIM name is changed. This could not be a big thing. It's just for the customization purpose, basically, or you can say just for fun, not a big deal. But still, if you were looking forward to Shizuku supported apps, this shall be included here. Next one is Kanta. This could be a very useful thing, especially if you are using MIUI, HyperOS, or some OEM based ROMs where we have a lot of bloatware installed, but you don't want to root your device. Just install Shizuku, install Kanta, select the apps which you want to uninstall or debloat from your device. Of course, without rooting your device, without needing PC, that's really useful. So I just choose on this one. As you can see, uninstall apps, grant the Shizuku permission, done. And you can also see it's already there in the deleted app section. And in my app drawer, I'm not able to see this app. So the app is deleted from my device. I can restore it back directly from here. And that is an advantage. So yes, if you have installed Shizuku, you have to take this, especially if your device is not rooted, especially if you are using OEM based operating systems, for example, MIUI, HyperOS, Vivo, Samsung, a lot more options for you. Install Shizuku, set up Shizuku and go for these things. Like, like, let me show you this one right now. In the status bar, quick settings panel, you have this carrier vanity name change, which I just shown you around a minute ago. Let's move on to the another app, which is included in this list. And that is a shell you. What this is, we just talked about the Kanta app previously. It's almost similar to that. I mean, it's, it's also related to that. You can add or you can simply choose any commands from here. You can write some commands, especially for uh, the things which you need PC. Here you can do so with the help of this Android app. The name is ASLU, a command prompt basically. You don't need PC to execute ADB commands. With the help of this app, you will be able to do so without having to root your device, without anything else. For example, some apps require ADB permission, so you have to connect your device to PC, etc. But with the help of this app, you don't need to do that. You can simply put ADB command here, shell command basically, type enter, and the command will be executed. A lot more things are already included. Some of the other things are going to include very, very soon. So yes, you have to check this app for sure. The previous was basically we another have another app name is a shell but this is a material use supported app which is a shell u so i guess this shall be included here we have this thing so check it out another one which is in our list is ls patch what this is and by the way this app will only work with the help of shizuku so even if you have rooted your device this will not work you need shizuku to set it up so simply choose a directory here for example use this folder then select the app from storage or in case select the installed app it's totally up to you then choose the app which you want to patch for example in this case i'm not taking any app here if you need more detailed video on this one I have on my other Hindi channel. If you need that, just comment me and just comment on this video. I will definitely give you the link there. Although it's already there on my other channel. And if you still need the guide in, in, in English language, I'll try to make a video on that one too. If you comment only. 
this is about ls patch which could be a very underrated thing and it's also updating so that's good not talking about ls poach ls patch sorry but modules are updating if you take a look at another app which is color blender and what this is this works with both options if you have rooted your device or if you have shizuku but we are talking about shizuku supported apps so we will choose shizuku here what this app does is this is basically like repainter if you have ever used that so basically customizing the material you colors a lot of users are using android 12 13 14 based custom rooms already so yes if you have rooted your device or basically if you did not root your device but install chizuku you can also customize the material you colors repainter is paid this is free also if you have rooted your device we have more customizations if you did not for example using chizuku we do not have any major customizations but still inbuilt themes are there which actually are free so yes you have to check them out for sure last but not the least the app which is in our list is rootless james dsp this will also work for only two things from two things only shizuku or adb we are talking about shizuku so click on shizuku grant access and done this is regarding the sound mode if you have already rooted your device you might have installed dolby or viper for android or any other sound mode but if you did not root it your device or using any oems for example miui hyper os one ui etc etc then you can install this sound mode without need to root your device and this will actually improve the sound experience it depends upon which settings you have applied so then things might go well for you but this is one of the most interesting android apps available there so uh, this was actually supported with shizuku it's working fine here you can check this out in case you want to these were the app these were the apps which i just wanted to let you know if you have installed shizuku already and want to install some interesting apps even in 2024 which are working flawlessly then check out these apps you can use shizuku by root or without root of course if you did not root your device these things will definitely work for you too this is it these were the things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to drop a like we'll see you in the next one until then take care